I'll make a video on this Utopia backrest for a K1600 GTL a BMW motorcycle. Uh, I went through, I do a lot of driving to work every day, about an hour and a half to work and back. And uh, use a motorcycle, I notice my back hurts a little bit. After a while, uh, I figured I need some more back support. Looked into other options like uh, sergeant seats, and I thought they were kind of expensive, well over a thousand dollars to get you know a new seat with a backrest that you can put on and take off and all that stuff. So I went with this option. Uh, looks good out of the box. You can see the Utopia backrest matches the color well. Um, and from what I'm reading on the instructions, you are probably going to need a serrated knife um, and maybe some other stuff you see here. An Exacto knife. You're going to need a it looks like a a T20 bit, which is like a star, the star bits. Uh, and so I'm just going to go to the first part of the instruction. I really wasn't. I wasn't uh, expecting that you would have to take things apart, but it appears on this, for this model, uh, for the K1600, uh, you'll at least, as well as talk about the T20 bit, you're gonna have to take off this piece that has a heating element in the lock for the seat. And right now it's telling me to take off all these staples that are around the whole thing. So I'm a little reluctant to do that. I'm not an upholsterer. So I know this was gonna have to go back in and it doesn't tell me if I need a, a stapler in order to put these staples back in or whether you can work them in or how thick they are. So I'm gonna take it as it, as it goes. I'm gonna take it off and then by the end of the video, we'll find out if, it, if there's an issue putting these things back in or how many staples you gotta take out or you gotta take the, the entire seat off or not. So I'll get back with you guys. I finished taking all the staples out of the seat and I used this uh, paint scraper to get underneath the sta staples and the rest of the way with the screwdriver, I got to pull out all the staples that were around the back of the seat. So I took off all the staples around as far as I think I need to go, halfway around the seat. I pushed, got rid of the screws that are in here for the heating element and for the seat release. And I peeled the seat back so far. Looks like there's a little thing that goes through the foam here. I don't know if you can see it in here. But you have to actually take off in order to pull it out, in order to get the seat off. I'm sure if you can see what I'm doing here. But looks like you pull that off and that'll be able to go through so you can take the rest of the seat back. Okay, so I peeled back the top of this cover, just a back seat where the passenger would sit. If you look, lift this up, I think you can carefully do this without taking off any more of the seat cover. So you can see the lead wire for a heating element goes up through this hole, and then the hole pretty much comes up right around here or so. Uh, it says to measure back one inch from the front of the seat, make a six inch line, which I've done, and we'll take it from there. I think it says it, to cut that and watch that lead wire when you're cutting so you don't cut off the heating element of the seat. Okay, now I made the six inch cut along here. If you pull this back, you see there's like a little layer of light foam and there's like a heavier foam, like a half inch down or so. If you pull this back more, you can see where the lead wire from the other side comes up through the seat. And that's where, that's where it comes up. And what they want you to do now is they want you to cut from the hole over to the left, about an inch and a half, so it's, so it's out of the way. And then the, the bar is actually gonna come up through the hole where the lead wire is, is currently placed at that point. All right, so I made the slit uh, from the hole over, and it turns out that this is still about two inches from the front there. So it also tells you to slit another one about one and a half inches on the center here. So I cut that way uh, to the right here through the two inches of foam. You gotta be careful because the lead wires are right under there. So you gotta be careful not to cut them. But if you have to, you can just splice them back together again. But 
you just gotta be careful not to cut them and it should be all right. So, so far so good. I have the slit. I think the next step is to push the thing through here and drill the holes and, and, and pop this piece in place. Okay, so I had this, this seat. I, I propped up. I find it easier to work if you get this thing out of the way. So if you take this seat cover and you push it up out of the way with a, I put one of my kids shoes in there, kind of pulls it up out of the way so you can work. And you can see this piece goes, there's a black piece that's going to mount onto your, the seat, the bottom of the seat. And you have, you have this little piece here that kind of doesn't go back past that. So it, you can slide it right in there and that should be the end point of the seat. And it's kind of easy to, to, uh, to center on this center beam here. So while you have it in there, I just found it easy to just take a pencil and I went through here and I marked you know, through the holes and, and made a couple marks. So I'm going to drill through, I'm going to put these on and hopefully slide that through the seat and be able to bolt it on there. Okay, after I marked the, the plate, I, I pushed the plate through the slit that I made and I pushed it down on the bottom of the seat. And then I put the bolts through the holes that I made that I drilled through, 732nd hole, and push it through. And now I'm gonna try to put the seat cover back on. So of course there's no way to put the old staples back in, but I use this power shot that I have from uh, Home Depot or something I bought a little while ago. And, uh, and I did my best upholstery job on it to go around with the rest of of the seat. Seems to work okay. Everything went in, a little short staples. So you do need a stapler and some staples to do this job. Uh, so I pulled that around. Right now you can see right now that there's a little, that little piece is poking once it poked through. The next step is to cut that wide enough for the piece to poke through. And then there's a little piece that goes around it. And then you're ready to put then you're ready to put your seat on. Now I just cut a slit just about as wide as this, pushed it up through it. It would have to be a little smaller than this piece because it, you can you can flex the leather around it. Uh, pushed it down, and then I took that piece with some sticky adhesive that's onto it, and you peel this peel this guy off it, and you, and you put it on there, and it will be firm and secure on there. So I got the piece on there. The last thing I really need to do is is actually attach the seat to it. So now I installed the seat back on the bike. Uh, I just took it for a first ride. It really changes the way it feels when you ride. It's really kind of cool having that having that support. So uh, there's a couple screws back here. One turn so you can push it forward and backward. You can raise the seat height higher or lower uh, with a screw on the back also. Uh, so it's adjustable. You could take it off, but you'll, you would still have a small piece. This is not like the quick release system. I think on some other bikes, they do have quick release system um, software or hardware that they have out there. So that's not available for this uh, type of bike. But you can see I'm, I'm not planning on taking it off. My wife got on the back of it. She was able to put her legs comfortable around me. And she said it wasn't in the way at all. So that's it. That's a, a good deal because that would be a deal breaker if we couldn't do that. So, uh, like I said, the stapler was one thing I wasn't planning on. I wasn't planning on doing the upholstery piece. So, uh, make sure you have some quarter inch, eighth inch staplers. You need really small because it's really just the thickness of the plastic of the seat is how far it's going in. So, uh, the ones I took out I had, couldn't have been more than an eighth of an inch. The ones I put back in were a little bit bigger than that. So, uh, I like it so far so good. Uh, I'll update a review if there's anything that changes on this, but I think I'm really gonna like it.